Hi, I want to show you a little trick that I did when I was actually designing this course and you may be um, wondering yourself how I did it. Um, if you're new to Moodle, you might not realize it. If you're older to Moodle and have used it one or two times, you may have noticed that on the right hand side here, in several places, I actually have complete self-assessment and a link to a quiz. And that appears in several areas. Um, I also have another one here, what would you do, it, which is a question, things like that. Rather than creating a quiz and just having it where you can lose it right here, um, what I've done is, if I turn editing on, which I'll just do that now, and of course the page changes slightly, what I've done is added a label here. And I'll just show you this by clicking the edit button. And here's the label, which I actually added in the typing. I added in a logo. And what I did here was actually link to a quiz that I created within Moodle. I'm not going to do any changes here. Because you're going to ask me next, well, where's the quiz? Where was it created? It's, it's nowhere here. Like there are actually way down the bottom here. There's actually 10 topic areas, but there's no quizzes except for the final quiz and that other one earlier. Well, what I actually have is 11 topic areas, not 10. And I created a bunch of resources and then I linked to them, but I left them open, but I hid that topic area just by in the administration blog. And this is the key here. Click settings and I'll show you. It has number of week topics, 10 topic areas. If I actually change that to 11 and scroll down the bottom, click save changes, it'll take you back to the course and I'll scroll right down the bottom here quickly. Here's all those things that I've actually linked to. Um, I've left this topic area open. I leave the actual individual things open here. But what I did for the quiz was such a short quiz basics tax. I right click on it and I go copy link location. And this will be the link that I add to here. So if I such as click quiz, a quiz will open. If I go back, and it's there. So I'm actually just linking these things to something I have put in topic 11. I leave it all open. I don't hide them. If you hide them, students won't have access. So I leave it open and then I go back to my settings once I like everything and where it is. And I click on settings and I'm just going to change it back to 10. So the students will only see those 10 topic areas, not the 11th where I've got these other things. I'll go save changes. And you'll notice it's disappeared. They only see 10 areas. I only see 10 areas. I just have to remember that those um, resources are hidden in an 11th topic area if I need to edit them at all. So it's 10 areas, although I've got the hidden area, and all these quizzes that I've created, and I actually have other resources um, that I did as well um, that I have hidden, but I have links to them. So the what would you do, as I said, complete self-assessment. So in this way, I'm pushing out and showing the um, self-assessments or anything that's really, really important, and I'm pushing it to the right-hand side. I'm highlighting those um, fonts and making it red to stand out even more. I've added an icon which links to such as a quiz. You could have resources over here and do exactly the same way. So I hope um, this little demonstration, and you can view it several times because I've actually gone over it quite quickly, um, may help you in some of your course design aspects and just helping, um, especially in this center block area, not losing um, important such as self-assessment quizzes and things like that. So hopefully you found that helpful.